Hello and welcome to this first Chunksters Check-In Time video. I kicked off the 2020 Booktubers Reading Chunksters for Charity Challenge with my video published on the 16th of December 2019, which you can see in the info cards above. For the challenge I chose some of the books on my shelves that were approximately 800 pages long. The challenge I have given myself is to read 12 chunksters during the year 2020 at the rate of approximately one per month. The purpose of the challenge is to support the charity Book Aid International, which is a book donation and library development charity. Their vision is a world where everyone has access to the books that will enrich, improve and change their lives. Some viewers have mistakenly thought that the challenge is to support charity in general and have mentioned that they intend to read for charities of their own choice. This is all very well and laudable, but it defeats the object of this challenge which is to consolidate the booktube community in support of Book Aid International and its work. This is a booktube and book related challenge and I want it to remain so. So it is my intention to pledge and donate £10 to Book Aid International for every chunkster that I read throughout 2020 and I would encourage every viewer to support this charity in this challenge rather than charities in general. Thank you also to all those who are following the daily progress on the dedicated Twitter account. See the dedicated link in the show notes below. The donation target for Book Aid International is £1,200. Total outstanding pledges so far amount to £800. Donations to date amount to £146. I also want to thank everyone who has pledged their support to donate to Book Aid International and especially to those who have made videos expressing that support. Your pledges and donations will prove to be a great blessing to the individuals and communities that will benefit from having access to books that they otherwise would not have without your support. It is my belief that those who bless others find that the blessing is returned upon their own head. So, on behalf of my Father in Heaven, and on behalf of my Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, I am privileged to pronounce the blessing of the Lord upon you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Now I want to share with you how books are helping to keep children off the streets in Jamestown in Ghana by telling the story of Mary and of how she and children like her are being helped by our contributions to Book Aid International. Rita lives with her four children in a one bedroom house in Jamestown. Jamestown is one of the poorest districts in Accra the capital city of Ghana. Crime, illiteracy and teenage pregnancy are all too common in Jamestown and many children end up working on the streets to help their families make ends meet. Here Rita shares how books you help to send are helping her children to stay off the streets and dream of brighter futures. There are lots of challenges as a mother in Jamestown. It's not safe here and especially not for children. But I have lived here all my life and I don't have anywhere else to go. Multiple families in one bed houses share a compound in the local fishing community's makeshift homes in Jamestown. To support my children I sell condensed milk toffee in the streets. I didn't get the opportunity to go to school as a child. I can't read or write. That's why I feel really happy when I see my 14 year old daughter Mary reading. She's very serious about her education. She walks on her own to school for an hour every day and always studies at home. 
when I see Mary reading, it gives me hope that she won't have the same future as me. Every day after school, Mary goes to the library run by local NGO Street Children Empowerment Foundation, SCEF. Mary is determined to work hard at school to secure a brighter future. It's really important for the children to have books. I just want them to have a better chance than me. Since going to the library, Mary is more confident and can speak English really well. It makes me so happy. I really want her to be a pronged person in the future. After school, Mary reads books you have helped to send at SCEF's library in Jamestown. I don't have any money. I can't buy books for my children. So I'm so happy my children get to read books in the library. Because of the library, my children, especially Mary, have a chance of having a brighter future. I'm told that all these new books at the SCEF library come from Book Aid International in the UK and that people like you give their own money to help send them. Thank you so much. You are helping my daughter Mary and other children here in Jamestown who could easily end up on the streets. We want our children to go far and not be in this situation their whole life. They can achieve this through reading books. Please keep helping Book Aid International to send more books. The books are helping children in Jamestown to read, dream and succeed. Through the partnership with Street Children Empowerment Foundation, SCEF, and only made possible through the donations of supporters like us, children in Jamestown now have access to over 2,000 brand new storybooks and textbooks in the library. So in 2020, let us send more books to those who need them most, including children at risk of being on the streets, by pledging an amount of money and then donating it to Book Aid International. I look forward to your joining me in 2020 so that our wonderful BookTube community can share our values and love of books to make a constructive contribution to the lives and education of people everywhere. Let me know in the comments below if you share my 2020 vision of cultivating community and connection through this booktuber's reading Chunks for Charity Challenge and of how you will be participating. And now here's a quick recap and I'll be back soon with another booktube video.